So I took a few minutes offline and I just finished my dotted line here and that looks pretty, it looks pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Now I should mention that um, all this hard work and I actually haven't saved this yet. So I've set up a project folder. I called it city. Uh, from my desktop, I'll just go into my class folder. In my class folder, I'll go into my city project and I'll just call this, um, I'll call it BW city zero one. So it's the first incarnation of my city. And uh, uh, before I, I, I push too far forward, I, I wanna just continue to rough out this block and just really quickly, I'm gonna create a sidewalk. Uh, just just, so, I, just in, in, so I get a better sense of, of what I'm looking at here. And I kind of feel like uh, the width of this, I'm just gonna key in the value of 50. That feels a little small. Um, you know, bump it up to 100 again, but these numbers are going to be based on uh, whatever decision you're making in terms of the scale. So I'm just going to kind of play around with these. I need to move this up so I can see it. Read it about 60. That feels right. And again, I'm just kind of moving these objects over. And once they start to move, I'm moving them according to one axis and I'm holding down the shift key. And I'm just trying to get these to line up. I suspect that they do, and I'll take a closer look, and that does not actually line up. And if I start to move and hold down shift, I have the option of either intersecting with my street, it looks like, or if I move it back over, I'm, I'm a little far away. And so that tells me that if I move this over according to the X by another five centimeters, I'm kind of hoping that that lines up. The only way I'll be sure about this is if I split my viewport out and I'll look at this, uh, not from the front view, but maybe from the right view. I'll just zoom way in. Let's see, that's the wrong view. I'll look at this maybe from the front view. There we go. And I'll zoom in, and I'm running into that same issue where um, my, my sidewalk is kind of floating off the edge, so I'll just move it, I'm trying to move it down, move it down, and I'll snap it. So I actually don't want, I want my sidewalk higher than the street here. And so if I move it down and I snap it to 10 centimeters and it's sitting right at the same height as the, uh, um, same height as the road, I think what I'll do is I'll just bump up the Y value. So I'll make it 20. And that gives me uh, the height that I want. And in fact, that gives me the flexibility that if I want ultimately down the road to make these uh, sidewalks even taller, I can just continue to kind of key up a value uh, or, or change the y-axis. So that's what I'll do. I'll set this to 20. And I'm trying to move this over um, so that it either, when I snap it, again, I have the choice of either, let's try this again. I'm, I'm just going to play around with some values here. There it is. 300 looks to be, based on my math, looks like it's sitting right where I want it. So that's negative 300. So if I copy my sidewalk and I'll paste my new sidewalk, just like we did with the snowman, if I take off that negative value, I should now have two sidewalks. They're sitting side by side. And again, I'm looking at this from the front viewport. So my sidewalks are there, but I do have a little glitch in that I want their length or their Z value to be equivalent to whatever the city block is. So I'll make that 2000. So now I have some sidewalks. They look pretty good. Later I'll deal with uh, some textures to apply to them. But I have my two sidewalks, I have all of these lines, and I wanna just group these lines really quickly, and I'll call these uh, street lines. Makes sense, right? There we go, so I got two sidewalks, and I have my street lines, I have a couple of buildings, uh, I have the street and the block, and actually I'm gonna leave the buildings, I'm just gonna move those down and out of the way. All this stuff I'll eventually want to group together because this is the thing that I want to you know, kind of move around. And in fact, maybe I'll do that now. I'll just Option G to group. And I'm going to call this block, and I'll call it straight because it's the straight uh, street of the block. Now, uh, I'll just test this out and see what this looks like. I'll, I'll Command Copy and Command Paste. And I'll start to move this and I'll hold down the Shift key. And if I move that to 2000, now you see what I got. I got a nice little straight line here. I'm not worried about the buildings just yet. I'll replicate those separate. Um, but that looks pretty good. So I have my straight street. I'll, I'll get rid of the duplicate for now because I don't want too much information here. I got it pretty well organized. I'll give it a quick save. And then I'll do a, a file uh, save incremental. 
And maybe what I'll do is, I don't know why I deleted that block, because I actually, I'll just use that to make my, my next block, and I'll just kind of move my, let's see here, what do I want to do? I'll take my straight, I'm going to copy and paste, and I'll move it over a little bit. I'm going to hold down the shift key. In fact, I'll just move it way far away. I'll move it to like 4,000 centimeters, if I can. There we go. Um, so that'll be my original straight block. Uh, this one that I'm working on now, I actually want to get rid of the buildings. Um, and this is a good time to just remind myself to work in the layer browser. So what I'm going to do is just click on this bullet here, and I'll add this building to a new layer. Uh, I'll, I'll open up my layer browser, my layer manager, and I'll call this layer, I'll call these uh, this layer buildings. So ultimately, all the buildings that I make, I want on this layer. And if you remember, there's a couple of different ways to manage content on layers. I'll take this building one, and if I click on that bullet, I can either add to an existing layer or I can add it to a new layer. Uh, but I'll just add that to the building layer. I want to look at the hierarchy here and make sure that all the stuff inside uh, my building two is actually on the same layer. And I can just use that paint technique, and that's very quickly now I have all of my city or all of my buildings attached to or nested inside my buildings layer. So I'll just go back to my attribute manager and uh, I think I'll take my buildings, I'll select both of them by shift clicking and I'll just move those over for now, get them out of the way. Uh, because I wanna focus on this second block and I wanna make a four way intersection. And I think I can do this very easily um, just by digging into the contents here and I'll take the street, I'll actually get rid of all the stuff that I don't need and for now, um, I have a formula for the lines. Uh, maybe I'll keep those and refer to them later. The sidewalks, I'll need to uh, um, change their size here in just a little bit. If I take this street and I copy it and I paste it, I'll go to the rotate tool and I'll just rotate this holding down the shift key and I'll rotate until it's 90 degrees. Now I have uh, an idea of what my four-way intersection is going to look like. I'm trying to find my sidewalks here. There's one of them, and I'm going to take this value down to, let's try 750. And then if I go to the Move tool, what happens if I, at 750, I start to move this, and I hold down the Shift key. What does 750 do for me? Yeah, it's just about, it's going to be just about where I want it. I'll kind of slide this over, and maybe I'll uh, look at this from... This right side view here. Slide it over a little bit. And it looks like, what if I do 625? Does that line up? Try that again. Negative 625 again. So I'm just experimenting. And you're going to find yourself doing this quite a bit with this project. And somehow, I, you know, I wasn't doing any math there. I was just kind of eyeballing, lining this up, and hoping that the, uh, uh, the math would work out. And it looks like it did. So you can always eyeball this stuff, but that looks, that looks pretty good. So my sidewalk, uh, once I get one half of the sidewalk done, I'll just borrow what I've made, and I'll Command-C to copy and Command-V to paste. And I'll just get that to move in the direction that I want, holding down the shift key. And so maybe I'll look at this from the top down. Or maybe even look at a top view. So the top view is not exactly displaying what I want, so I'll just go into a quick shading with lines. And I'll zoom in a bit, and I'll just shift... Start moving that over and shift click. There we go. That looks pretty good. So I got half of my sidewalk done for my four way intersection. I could just take both of these sidewalks now and things will start to come together pretty quickly. I'll paste both of those. I'll start moving them over and I'll hold down the shift key. That's right about where I want them. And I'll take all four of these sidewalks and I'll copy and paste. I'll go to the rotate tool. And I'll rotate while holding down the shift key. And you can see that very quickly I've just created uh, my four-way intersection. Now, one of the things that I need to do uh, is I need to really think about what the, um, you know, what the artwork is going to be. Oops. 
or what the actual intersection with the lines look like at the intersection of the street. But for now, I think I have the nuts and bolts of my, my four-way stop. Now, a couple of things that I, that I did uh, during the production here is I made sure that, that I'm modeling this. You know, this is the origin. This is, uh, everything's at zero, or the origin of our 3D space here. So I have a little bit of work to, to kind of finalize my four-way intersection. So I'm gonna take a walk out uh, outside and look at a four-way intersection and see what kind of information we have on it. And I suspect there's going to be things like, um, let me just go into my doodle tool here. I suspect we're going to find things like, uh, well, you know, we'll have our, our, our dotted line and then we're going to have a, a big white stop line here, or maybe that'll be moved back a little bit. So we'll have a, a stop line here that's filled in with white. And then maybe we'll have a crosswalk here with some information that goes across it. And uh, you know, I'm gonna play with and apply the same techniques that I used to create this dotted line here uh, to create uh, the stop information that I need, the, the, you know, the, the crosswalk, the intersection. And I just really wanna create all the details that I need on this intersection. And then I can quickly modify this and turn this into a three-way stop very easily. You know, if I just get rid of, if I just get rid of those two sidewalk elements right there, and I take this street and shorten it up, and then continue that sidewalk all the way across, I think I'll have all the information that I need for my three-way stop. So I'll continue to play with that. Um, but I do have all of these sidewalks that I wanna to start to group together. So I'll just group those. I'll call these sidewalks, and this is gonna be grouped ultimately with not this block straight one, because that's the one that's over here. I can tell that's selected. This original block straight that we're modifying I'm going to call this four-way. So it's a block four-way. And it needs to include the sidewalk. It also needs to include the, the second street element here. And I think that that gives me everything that I need. Let's see if I move this, what happens? Yeah, it all moves together. That's good. So I'll get rid of my doodle. Um, so I'm, I'm halfway home with my four-way intersection. I just wanted to show you that workflow um, just so you get an idea of how I'm building this stuff. I am going to fast forward um, experiment with that, build a three-way stop, um, maybe a, a hard right angle, or if you really want to get tricky, you could make a curve in here. I'll leave that up to you to experiment with those techniques. Um, right now, I just want to think about all the different elements that I'm going to need to create this city. And I feel like uh, not only will I need these city blocks, but I'm also going to need some kind of um, just a real simple blank uh, grass block. Right, so if I just kind of snap this over to one side at 2,000 centimeters, uh, or I'll move this back a little bit so that, let's see, let me just eyeball this here. If I need a little bit more landscape here behind my buildings to not make them feel so crowded, I should be able to move that somewhere in there to kind of snap it together. Okay, so I'm gonna jump offline here and I'm gonna finish building uh, my my three-way stop, my curve, and then I'll, I'll have all the assets that I need for building this city. And then we'll come back and we'll take a look at the buildings. Uh, and I'll create variation in the buildings. We'll take a look at some different kind of texturing techniques and material techniques. Uh, we'll, we'll create about four or five unique buildings and then we'll, we'll, we'll mix and match the parts of the building together uh, to create even more buildings. But we'll do that in the next presentation.